Hi everybody, Jody here with Funerals Your Way. Most of you know that we do a lot of work with veterans and their families. And most people who have veterans or are veterans themselves are aware that they are provided space in a national cemetery. They are also provided a full body burial or cremation burial at sea. Now while the military does provide the space and a headstone in a national cemetery, as well as the transportation on, in most cases, an aircraft carrier for a burial at sea, any associated funeral costs, such as a casket, preparation of the casket, storage, permits, those are all responsibilities of the families. Now, recently we had the opportunity to prepare one of our veterans for a full body burial at sea. And we thought that it was a very interesting process. It's quite involved. The military has several requirements before the, they will approve the burial and the casket. So we thought that it would be a good idea to show you that process. So myself and my colleague Summer, we donned our work clothes and our power tools, and we prepared the casket and transported our veteran dockside to the aircraft carrier. So this is a video about that process. I hope you enjoy it. All right, well, here we are with our metal casket that we're going to prepare for a military full body burial at sea. Now the burials are done, as we discussed earlier, on Navy vessels, warships. All Navy ships are classified as a warship. And the military does have certain requirements. One is that we have a metal casket, which we do have here. Another requirement is that the interior of the casket be removed. So we're gonna go ahead and remove everything so that it is as close to a, a metal box as we can make it. We're also required to have two inch diameter holes on both ends, the bottom and the top of the casket. So we're gonna take our casket now and move into the back work area where we will be removing the interior and we will also be placing the holes in both the head panel and the foot panel on the top of the casket. All right, everyone. So we have removed the interior of the casket. We have also drilled the, the appropriate holes in the top. The next requirement is we need to place 150 pounds of sand in the foot end of the casket. Now, because we can't use plastics, we're going to use a cotton sheet. So we have the inside of the casket lined in the cotton sheet. We're going to remove the sand from the plastic bag place it on the cotton sheet, we'll wrap it up and then stitch it so it stays in place, and then the, the internal frame of the casket will be placed on top of the sand, and the pressure will keep it secure. So let's get started. So we now have the sand inside the casket. This is the foot end. Now because we can't use plastic, we used a cotton sheet. And you can see where we stitched the sand into the cotton sheet and then took the ends and wrapped them around the frame inside of the casket and secured it underneath the frame. 
So at this point, our casket is ready for our loved one to be placed inside. Hi everybody, Jody here and Summer. And we are going to be preparing our loved one for placement in the casket for the full body burial at sea with the military. So one of the things that we did already was prepare the casket, which you saw. Now we're going to be preparing the body. Now because we're not allowed to put any plastic or anything that's not um, biodegradable in the water, and we do need to um, respectfully cover him, we have decided to use some compostable and biodegradable leaf bags. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now before we did this, you can see here that we took off the one side of what's called an air tray. This is so that when we have him prepared, we'll go ahead and just slide him into the casket itself so we could not do it over this border. So are you ready, Summer? I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. So now we have our prepared casket. We've lined the cardboard box with compostable bags and environmentally safe detergent that has a very nice smell to it. One of the things that is a requirement is that we do not have any uh, odor. So that can be a challenge, but we think we have it figured out using the uh, scent powders and the compostable bags. All right, well, now we have our loved one in the prepared casket. The next step is we need to place metal bands around it in order to secure it. So we need to take, we need to place four bands going around in this direction, one going lengthwise, and then one around the body of the casket itself. What we're gonna be using is a three quarter inch metal strap, a steel strapping. We have this attachment here, which allows you to use this ratchet to tighten the strap once it's on. And then we have fasteners here, which are crimped together with this tool. So let's get started with the banding. So here we are with my lovely assistant, Summer, and we are banding the casket. So we have cut our metal straps. We have them under the handles. We have them going all the way around so that they're not interfering with the holes or the lock or the brackets. We take our, um, I don't really know what you call this, an adjuster. You open it up. Once that's in there, you release the pressure on it. And then you just have a ratchet that tightens the strap. So once this is here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a crimp right on here close to, we can always trim this off. So Summer, do you wanna go ahead and put a crimp on that? Nice. We're just doing two to be on the safe side. Let me know when you got it. Got it. Perfect, and that's how you band a casket. Now that our casket is prepared with the holes and the banding, the next step is to drape the casket with an American flag and secure it with a flag band. Our loved one is now ready to be transported dockside to the ship which will be taking him out to sea.
It's always an honor and a privilege for us to be of service to our veterans and their families. Oftentimes we forget that the freedoms that we enjoy are a direct result of the sacrifice of our veterans. If you have any questions or would like to know more about veterans options and benefits, feel free to reach out. And thank you so much, aho, and safe travels.